Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at OldWorldGardenFarms.com. They got some great tips on how to grow the best tomatoes possible. Now, tomatoes are, of course, a very valuable crop for market gardeners and small farmers alike. They get a lot of money into their pockets, good price per pound. They produce a lot of fruit per plant, and it's a very popular fruit here in America and throughout the world. Now, the key is you want to pick often because if there's ripened fruit on the vine, the plant's not going to send too much energy to create new flowers, flowers which will create new fruit. They also talk about picking a bit early. You see you have this light orange here. Maybe pick slightly after that. Then you got this deep red in the background. You don't want it to be that deep red in, on the vine necessarily, although it does taste pretty good ripened on the vine. You could always just cut the whole vine off if there's some equal ripeness. Now, here's a nice picture of a drying rack. You want to have some good air circulation when you pick early. And, of course, with tomato storage. Don't put it in the fridge. It will stop the ripening process. Keep competing weeds at bay. They are a breeding ground for pests and disease. Now, disease usually don't jump from plants, different plant species to other plant species, but bugs certainly can. Remove the damage and diseased uh, leaf or plant material. Certain bugs will overwinter in a compost area and most fungal and bacterial disease as well. So you might want to have a separate compost area or maybe just put it in the municipal waste removal. Now, so get some plant supports. I prefer a staking system. They have like a netting system with these stakes. But just one stake per tomato plant with a couple of pieces of loose tine string will get the job done. And stop fertilizing because most of that fertilizer will just grow new leaves instead of new flowers and fruit. Now, of course, phosphorus is supposedly used to help set fruits and produce more fruits. But it moves so slowly through plants that like at a in half inch or a quarter inch a day, that if you fertilize in the summer, it's not even going to get to the plant till the fall. Well, that's it for this story. You can read more about it in the link in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.